Hi guys and welcome to the Enhancement Shaman uh, Guide for 7.35 on the AoE and single target rotation. So first off I'm going to be going through the single target legendaries and talents. And then I'm going to be going on to the AoE. There isn't much change between the AoE and the single target spec. So I'll just be running down the general basics of enhancement. And then I'll be tying down on how you try and do as much... Um, you know, single tar as much DPS as possible. Enhancement is not the best for AOE, so you aren't going to be pumping out that many numbers. But enhancement is probably one of the top um, single target DPS at the moment. But yeah, so legendary is what you want to be taking. I love the the BL helmet. It's just so good for all fights. And yeah, I'd recommend taking that for everyone who's like kind of kind of new to um, enhancement, or if you just want to do big damage without having to stress too much. Because a lot of people go with the hands. Hands is just like, just bis. Everyone uses the hands. You have a 0.12% chance per um, Maelstrom spent to gain Ascendance. This proc a lot more than it should. In I feel it's more than 0.12. I see it progging so, so much. And yeah, the helmet and the hands. But a lot of people use the ring. I have the twisting never. But it's really, really hard to get the full use out of it as you can. So I always use the helmet and the hands just because it's so easy. You know, you don't have any extra spells. It's just when you use a Maelstrom, there's a chance you get Ascendance. And obviously, the helmet bloodless lasts longer. So what you want to start with an Enhancement at the start of a fight. Um, oh, I'm, I forgot to explain the talents. I'll do that now. So first talent, you want to take Landslide. Rock Biter enhances your weapon, increasing your agility by 8% for 10 seconds. Obviously, that's going to be up all the time, so you're just going to have 8% increased agility all the time, which is just really, really good for a run DPS, and you get more DPS out of it than Hot Hands or Wind Song. Next talent you want to take is Feral Lunge. You always want to do this, because as well as it do it dealing damage to the target, it just gets you there instantly. So as you can see, I just go Feral Lunge, already at the target, and I've, deal I've dealt damage to it. You see it hits, hits pretty decent if your crit's high, like mine was there. Next, always want to take Lightning Surge Totems. Just really good for all fights. And especially because you're in the melee, you can just place it down and it stuns all the targets. And yeah, it's just really, really good all round. Next, what you want to take is Ancestral Swiftness. Just the 6% flat haste. Gives you a lot more... Um, like Lightning Shield is just absolutely dog. Ancestral Swiftness it, is just the best. But yeah. Um, next, Empowered Storm Slash. Storm Slash now spreads to six, one additional target. Obviously, you know, you just... Don't really want to use that. Overcharge is decent, but you don't really ever want to be using lightning bolts. So Tempest is just a lot, lot better. Stormbringer, Stormbringer is just like one of your main like damage spells. So that increased damage is going to be really, really good. So um, next, this one's really down to you, but I like using the Sundering due to the fact it's just big burst damage. I've seen a lot of people taking Fury of the Air due to the Maelstrom it spends, and you can dump out the excess Maelstrom. But I just like the Cindering because it ties in nicely with everything else. And you can just dump the um, quick 20 Maelstrom into it. Crashing Storm is just not that good at all, really. And now for the last one. So, um, Ascendance, Boulder Fist, and Urban Spike. A lot of people are taking Urban Spike. Summons an Urban Spike de under an enemy dealing 667 physical damage. And increasing your physical and nature damage you deal to the target by 30% for 10 seconds. I don't like this, I just prefer using Ascendance. Obviously, when you go into Ascendance, you're just going to be doing big, big damage. So, it's just guaranteed big damage you're going to be dealing every three minutes, or if you get it sooner with your um, procs. So, yeah, I'll go on to the rotation now. So, what you want to start with, you always want to start with your um, Lunge, and then Rock Biter, so you get the agility already of Landslide. And then you want to use your um, Artifact Weapon, so you just quickly get out the auto attacks. And you just want to make sure your weapon's branded. So, obviously, just Lava Slash, making sure your weapon's branded. And just make sure you keep up your Landslide up all the time. Make sure your weapon's still branded, and then using Lava Slash. And dump in your Maelstrom on Storm Strikes. As you can see, I've got a lot of Maelstrom, so I'm just going to dump it into a Sundering, just because I can just use that excess. So, I've got to make sure I'm keeping up Landslide, so my agility is always increased. So, I'm just going to spam into Storm, slash, Storm Strikes now, so I can dump that um, in Maelstrom. So, just use Lava Slash. Use my uh, so storm strikes. Just keep dumping out that maelstrom. Obviously, if you have the um, the hands, I'm gonna be prob I've probably gained an ascendance by now. But I'll quickly show what you want to do with your ascendant. So if you go into ascendant, you literally just want to be spamming wind strike and um, and rock biter when it's on cooldown. So as you can see, I want to keep up my um, landslide and just using 
your wind strikes because they're going to get hitting so so hard on the target and it's going to be really really good so I'll use my sundering as soon as I come out of that and just keep using my lava slashes and my storm strikes so I'll just spam lava slash keep up my brands on the target use my artifact weapon just for that big big damage and with the blunders obviously you know I have an increased one so my damage with that blunders is going to be so so good but yeah that's it for the um, single target and for AoE, there's only one change in the talent, and I'll quickly go through that. You want to take Crashing Storm due to the fact it's going to deal really, really big damage. Because instead of um, your normal Lava Slash, you want to be doing Rock Biter to keep up Landfall, and then using uh, Crash Lightning, then Storm Strike. So if I quickly go Crashing Storm now. So Chain Lightning, um, Crash Lightning will deal some, leave some stuff on the ground, which will deal damage. So you can keep that down all the time, and if you've got a lot of targets... Um, it's going to be doing really big, really, really big damage. So you want to take Ascendance again due to the fact that Crash Lightning is going to hit really hard tied in with your Wind Strike. So yeah, just quickly show what it's like as AoE. Um, AoE yeah. So you just want to be using Rock rock Biter so you keep up your Landslide. And then obviously you want to use your um, Crash and Gathering Storms. Damage of Storm Strike is increased for each target hit. So obviously when there's a lot of targets, you're going to be hitting really, really hard. So yeah, you just want to keep using Crash Lightning, Lava Slash, Crash Lightning, Feral Wolves when it's up, and just keep make sure you're using la uh, Crash Lightning on 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 CD, because you aren't going to be doing a lot of AOE. The only AOE you're going to be doing is the Crash Lightning, and then with the amount of targets you hit with Crash Lightning, it's going to increase the damage of your next Storm Strike, which is why um just enhancement isn't that good all round, because you know they. The only one AoE spell they have doesn't hit for a lot, but it just empowers their strongest single target spell. So that's it for enhancement. It's kind of just like, if you're playing enhancement, you're just going to be absolutely flying on um, single target fights. And AoE just going to be lacking, which is why a lot of shamans at the moment are um, just dual specking. So obviously on a fight like Garofi, go in single target um, enhancement. Then for command and stuff like that, they're just going pure AOE elemental. But yeah, that's it for the enhancement guide. Um, comment if you want to see any other videos in the future. And yeah, keep an eye out for my other videos. I'll be making guides on pretty much every single DPS class. So yeah, see you in the next one.